Alright, I'll try and film this real quick before it gets too dark. The key is on right now and I've added some switches over here. And I'll show you the ones I added here. The ones that light up amber. They're actually Peterbilt switches, but all these switches are made by Eaton. And a couple different manufacturers have used them. Different faces is actually, they have a little bit of a different finish to them. But the color is different when I hit the park, uh, parking lights. You can see how these are amber, and everything else on here is illuminated green. But, so I added uh, these two switches, this one, and that one. Start with this one up here. That one controls a little light over here I added to illuminate down there, just like my uh, Iowa lights. So that's, that one's actually controlled with a switch. I did that because up here, as a driver, I don't want to be blinded, so I want to be able to shut that one off. This middle one back here is for the show me flasher, and I added a pilot light there on the dash, and those are for the uh, warning lights, you can kind of see them in the mirror there. I added one of those because I had to be uh, cool like Texas Street Man, he added those on his bus, and there's the uh, pilot light there on the dash, and of course you can see it on the light monitor. Uh, mine's a little bit different, I'll talk about the show me more later, we'll make a different video for that. And then I've got these two switches here. Both of these switches operate the underbody LED lights. This bus is going to have, it. it's going to look like neons, but they're actually going to be red LEDs shining down on the road. And uh, I just think it would be cool. You get this big red bus and you got all this red light popping out from under it. Uh, there's two different switches and I'll explain that. This switch here, when you turn it on right now, the door is closed pilot light does not come on and the lights underneath will not come on. I'm actually still working on those. I have one installed underneath. But I have that one wired up with a relay so when the switch is on they won't come on until you open the door over here. So open the door and you see the pilot light comes on and the uh, pilot light on the switch comes on as well as the pilot light over here because this controls the same circuit too. This one's just before the relay, and you open the door, it trips the relay, and continues the circuit. So I'll go ahead and close the door, and you'll see those go off. So anyway, this one here will operate the lights anytime, whether the door is open or closed, it'll turn them on. So you hit that, and you can see the pilot light comes on and off without opening or closing the door. Now the reason I did that was because... Uh, it's uh, not necessarily legal to have those underbody red lights on underneath uh, when you're going down the road. So I figured if you pull up and uh, you're picking people up, you can just leave that switch on all the time. And you won't be opening the door when you're driving down the road. So therefore, you should be pretty safe uh, as far as having the red underbody LED lights. Plus, you won't forget to turn them on or off. And people still get to see them when you open the door. Adds to the effect of the bus. All right, as I said, I'm still working on the uh, underbody lights. This is kind of a preview. It's not even fastened down completely yet, but that right there is one LED light, one of these mini clearance lights. It's a six diode. So we got a bunch of those underneath. I think that'll be kind of cool. Cameras don't ever do light justice, especially at night. But there's your preview.